Good morning, my beautiful internet friends. I am so very excited to bring this video to you guys because it has been a long time coming and because you are a part of it. When I hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel a couple weeks ago, someone suggested that I make a community video of all of us together. So you set in submissions uh, talking to me and I'm going to watch them right now and put them together and react to them. Before we start, please know that I will watch every bit of every one of these videos. You're only gonna see little clips of the videos because I don't want this video to be 40 minutes long, but if you only see like your face for a second, please know that I did listen to your whole message. I haven't watched any of these at all yet. I wanted to save it all for right now. And I think that's all I think that's all I have to say before we actually dive in. So without further ado, Footless Show community, let's do this. Hello, my beautiful internet friend. <laughs> now I can say it to you. Here I am in my bathroom in the Netherlands to tell you how much you inspire me every day because you are really honest and true to yourself and um, I really admire that. Ugh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through these without just bawling my eyes out. It's uh, beyond amazing to actually see faces. Uh, you guys have helped me in some of my darkest times probably without even realizing it. Back in September of 2018, I ended up falling and pretty much destroying my left ankle. I've had a couple surgeries, I'm about to have a third. And in the beginning of this journey, I was in a very, very dark place. And then I found you guys. And Joe, I've been able to hear your stories and see how you keep it real with everybody. And it's helped me realize I'm not alone and know that it's gonna be okay. I'm so incredibly glad that this community could help you and I really hope that your surgery went well. Surgeries are definitely not my favorite either. Uh, my name is Natalie. I'm from, I'm living in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hi Natalie. And over the past few months, your videos both on Trauma Talk and Footless Joe have comforted me and made me feel not as alone in my struggles. While I don't deal with chronic illness or pain and I don't have a mental health diagnosis, I do believe in my early 20s I went through a traumatic experience and all my emotional distress intolerance and struggles have kind of come from that. My partner doesn't watch YouTube um, and now when I talk to him about topics or reflections that come from watching your videos, he knows you as the footless Joe girl. <laughs> um, that's how much I like that. Coming. Also, reading the comments of your videos, I know that I'm not alone in my struggles with things like leaving a faith and religion, and that's really comforting. It can be a really terrifying thing, and so your channel and this community and the other channels that you've introduced me to have been an amazing resource in my own journey. So thank you, uh, and congrats on 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey Joe, my name's Elizabeth. Hello. When I was growing up, I had a lot of physical challenges that I had to deal with and I didn't have anything like this. You know, the internet was still not as widespread. Information access was very difficult. It would have been very different. Um, having that information access is is huge to settle some of your fears. I think that's that's so true. Having some idea of what you're looking at can make things so much simpler and it's so hard when you when you don't have that. Channels like yours also really provide support um, in a sense that you can connect with other people who have experienced similar things um, and you can feel like you're not alone. I guess is really what it comes down to. Um, I also really think it's great that you're willing to show all of the ups and the downs, you know, because life isn't just a straight, straight line. There's a lot of zigzagging and that's normal. And I think it's important for people to see that that's normal. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. That's incredibly encouraging for me to hear. Your words are beautiful. Hi, Joe, from my giant bean bag and Mr. Lynx says hi. Lynx the sausage! I follow him on Instagram. I just wanted to point out how you go through a lot and you're so genuinely positive about it. You actively take the steps to be positive about it and you're genuine when you can't be. You, you, you've, def you've definitely been vulnerable like you said, you had a hard time doing. And I, I, I do the same thing. And actually, this past year has been a wild ride for me. I mean, yeah, I still have all four of my limbs, but I have gotten a new diagnosis for my mental health. And 
things have been really crazy surrounding that. So it's really refreshing to see. Dealing with a mental health diagnosis is huge. Like that's, I don't think there's any, any comparison in all of this. It's not like I lost a leg and anyone else is like dealing with, you know, here or like there up here. And I'm, I think it's just, we're all dealing with stuff and it's sometimes really heavy and really hard. I'm sorry that this year has been so much for you. Have an awesome rest of your life. Say goodbye, Lynx. Okay. Bye, Lynx. My name is John Dujarnit. Oh, John. When I happened upon your videos, I never expected for them and for you to reach me so deeply. When you present topics and events that you've been dealing with, I find myself drawn into your stories. Often they evoke both happy and traumatic memories from, from my life, but you provide a safe and comfortable place for me to do that. Thank you for that. Since I started following you, I feel like I'm hearing from a friend now when I see you post a new video. I find myself cheering for your successes and shedding tears when something has gone south. Thank you for letting me be a part of your video life. <laughs> I knew there was like no actual way that I could get through this without crying. Thank you, John. Your words mean a lot to me. My name is Kayla. Hi, Kayla. I wanted to say that your channel is one that I feel like I've been waiting for since I lost my leg. Be a person who is myself, but also I happen to have, you know, a prosthetic limb, which is like what you do. Yes, yes, exactly. Thing to see, like, especially like your stretches in yoga for amputees or for that you do. Literally, I've said before, like, I would love to try yoga, but it's difficult with not being able to bend my knee all the way and stuff. I saw that, I'm like, no way, like, that's, Perfect, and I can't wait to see you walk and hike and run and do all that stuff. Me too. Thank you And I hope yoga goes well for you. I hope you get a chance to try it. That's really cool. That's so cool <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> Hi there Joe. it's Dominique from New Zealand. Hi! I want to say thank you so much for your videos, you've helped so many people, you're so positive and I just wish you the best on your recovery and hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed, that you can be running in no time. Love you so much, bye! Thank you, fingers crossed and I really appreciate that. Hi Joe. it's Mylan. Oh hi! Congratulations on 100,000 subscribers. You have taught me so much about amputees and disability and I am so thrilled to be able to follow your journey and I can't wait to see more. <laughs> My face literally is like like hurting right here from smiling so much from seeing all your faces. Hi Joe. I think your channel is amazing and I think you're so sweet and I love that on your channel you talk about whatever you want to talk about and think is important. I like your little kitty in the corner there. Here's my, one of my cats. You guys are so cute together. I am literally so very proud of you. I feel like all of us have been on this journey along with you. We've cried with you. We've... I actually found your channel, both of your channels. <laughs> I was actually sitting alone in a theater. Um, it was right before a musical rehearsal and I was literally feeling really down. I felt so horrible inside. I was like really, really, really depressed and to the point where I was thinking I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna see my 18th birthday. I'm down, I'm down with just ending it right now. Like I, I, I had no idea what I was really feeling or processing in that moment. But I remember that I found one of your videos. I think it was the one where you were saying goodbye to your foot. And I sat there and I just, I don't know why, it just really hit and impacted me in that moment. And I remember going, wow, like even though I'm going through this, somebody's going through something as well, somebody out there. And 
the, and then I kept like binge watching your videos right there in that theater. You being vulnerable and saying, wow, I'm feeling this at this moment. And I feel like quitting, but I'm not gonna quit. And for me, that was like, it made me realize that I hadn't processed emotions since the age of six. <laughs> and I realized that I needed to learn how to love myself. So <laughs> I just wanna say thank you so much for allowing me to feel my emotions with you. And now I am, I reached my 18th birthday. <laughs> it's crazy, I graduated. I don't think I'm gonna include the part of the video where I just started sobbing. I am so happy that you made it to your 18th birthday and you're so strong and so brave for doing so. And I think you are so many of us. You're not alone. You're really, really not alone in what you're feeling and what you're going through. And congratulations and happy birthday. Your channel always makes me feel very positive and you are positive always about everything. Whenever I have a down day, I will watch your videos and they will make me laugh. Oh, thank you. I never think of myself as someone who really makes other people laugh, so that means a lot to me. Hey Joe, congratulations on 100K, woo! I am currently studying to become a prosthetist. That's right! I found your channel very helpful because you're very vulnerable. As you mentioned in your, in your video, although I'll never be able to experience what you're experiencing because no two people walk through the same journey, and I also have no experience wearing a prosthesis myself. I'm gonna do the best I can to see it from the other side because I know from my experience wearing orthoses, um, it was very hard not having people um, treating me who understood what it was like to go to school in a back brace. A medical device is part of your everyday life and I want to give that back. Thank you for all you do. I really appreciate it. Thank you for what you're doing. That's incredible. I think so few people would put the time and effort in to really understand. Thank you so much for being brave and sharing many life journeys with the world. I found you when I felt extremely alone in 2016 and your stories made me feel validation that I wasn't getting anywhere else. Because I found strength in the stories of others like you, I now work with trauma survivors and strive to make the world <laughs> a little bit better. That's amazing. That's really incredible. Hi Joe. this would really need to be a long one. I'm gonna try to make it short. Um, I'm autistic and I had my diagnosis really late which meant that i didn't really have support growing up and it would have been good to have it because i ended up finding myself in really traumatic situations and having to cope with a number of mental illnesses since i was 10. i started following your channel at the beginning and it matched with the time when i was going back inpatient for eating disorder treatment once again, to try to get around a few things that I had left untouched before. And I was terrified. <laughs> I really was, because I felt that there was no place for me in a happy and fulfilling life. I felt like I had no access to that. Something really weird happened. <laughs> Watching your videos throughout the year made me feel understood and made me feel that I had a chance at a happy, loving life. Despite the amount of trauma and damage done, that sometimes makes me feel like I cannot live life and not just survive it. What you decided to share and the way you decided to do it made me see a possibility and it felt healing. If you feel like, please keep doing that because it does save lives. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, and congratulations on getting the help that you need and deserve. I really understand the feeling that you're talking about, like not feeling like there's a place for you in a happy and fulfilling life, and it's a fight to feel like there is. We're both fighting for it, and it is there. I'm Eva. Hi, Eva. When my dad just passed away last year, I found a channel right after I got jobless, and it helped me see that there's more, that I'm not that alone. 
and that uh, there's something I can watch forward to every day, every couple of days and I get actually really excited when my, my I get a notification that you get a that you uploaded a video or something to Instagram so it brightens up my day a little bit so for that, thank you <laughs> that means that means so much to me thank you for telling me and I'm, I'm so sorry for the year that you've had and I'm happy to be a small part of it Hi Joe, it's Beth. Oh hi Beth. Um, super uncomfortable making a video, but thank you so much for doing it for me. Love your channel. Look forward to every time you're on. Your channel has helped me to recognize the mental health struggles that I continue to struggle with, as well as chronic pain. Um, it helps me to get through the day, and just wanted to say thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> My name is Heather. Hey Heather. Joe, I've been watching your videos since you first started making them on this channel. I'm not sure why, I just stumbled onto them via YouTube algorithms. And I've really appreciated watching you grow and learning and growing with you and supporting you through your struggles while I'm going through my struggles in life. And I remember watching you on your Ireland trip when I was writing a really stressful exam and going through a hard time in my life. And it was really nice watching people around the world support each other and work together to persevere. Your videos impact me a lot and I love seeing everyone's faces every day. Oh, thank you, Heather. I hope that exam went well for you. Hey, Joe, it's Charmaine here. <gasps> Charmaine, hello! Um, so basically, I think it's on a few levels, really. Emotionally, you help us because you still have the time to show us your raw emotions even when you have so much going on in your life and that kind of thing you could leave behind um, and not um, discuss but I think you are amazing in the way that you handle all of that kind of thing also for me um, it hits home when you talk um, and you show when you are vulnerable um, when you are feeling feeling pain mentally and physically like for me, it definitely hits home because I, I struggle to tell people how I'm feeling all the time. I just pretend and say, yes, I'm okay when, when I'm really not. Yeah, I get that. Your show has helped me practically because I had not even heard about the iWalk before I saw it on your channel. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for everything you do. Every single video is true and honest and caring. And also, you take the time to read every single one of our um comments which i find absolutely amazing i really do too i don't have the time anymore to respond to all of them i used to try to respond to like every single comment it's a gift but i feel bad that i can't there's too many to respond to now but i do read every single one thank you so much for putting your life on this youtube channel footless joe that you have created um i came across your channel probably a month and a half ago and i have binge watched all of your videos that's crazy thank you and i just want to say thank you so much for putting your story out there because it's helped me come to um, some conclusions with doctors and I've been able to talk to my doctors and not feel afraid. Um, I've been able to speak up for myself. I guess, I don't know, I feel like I have more courage after watching your videos and I really needed that. So thank you so much for that. Sending love from Texas. Thank you, you rock. Well, as a one amputee to another, uh, my name is Chris. Hey Chris. It's just been so different seeing someone dealing with the same things I've had to deal with I mean it's a case of you know it, it gives me strength and hope and courage and uh, just also helps me to keep reminding me where I've come from I've only had um, my prosthetic for about a year so I'm still relatively new to this I had my amputation in March of 2018 so uh, yeah I'm very new to this. It's good to see how far I've been able to come. I'm really glad. Nice to see somebody on YouTube putting a face to this because it doesn't always happen. Uh, I think a lot of people don't understand and appreciate the struggles and then successes. Uh, it hasn't been easy. Uh, I was wheelchair bound for about five months following my amputation. And, uh, but Thank you for your site. Thank you for your page. Thank you. Thank you for putting a face to this. Thank you for putting a reality to this. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Austin Patrick from Virginia. And my house is way over here, somewhere in this area, about 15 miles away. It's probably at my worst point in early December 2018. 
Then, when my pain was at its peak, I happened upon a Footless Joe's channel. <laughs> I think there was only a few thousand subscribers back then. But she reached... I think that's true. <laughs> ...my heart quickly. Her videos became medicine. And I needed my view of other people or the way I treat other people to be adjusted. Joe showed me by example what sort of person I should try to be. When I watch your videos or message with you or talk to you in the comments, I regain perspective in my life. I see what changes I should make, and I know and feel that I'm not alone. With personal, direct help from you, I was convinced I'm not a lost cause, and I finally saw help. Um, that means so much to me. I am so glad you are absolutely never a lost cause. Now I have God back on my side. Thank you, <laughs> Joe Beckwith. I can honestly say I might not be alive today without you. <laughs> Thank you. It was so important that you made the decision to create this channel. <laughs> and if there's ever a time where you think that you are not as important as other people because of your disability, which I know we can sometimes think, then believe me, you are even more important than other people who have no disability because of the things you do for this community. I hope you know what you mean to us. And I fell in love with your channel because the way you interact with your community and the way you bring a smile to my face that was just so special. I'm so thankful for finding a friend like you and so thankful for the opportunity you gave me to help people with my art. Because watching you grow like that made me really happy because there's no one who would deserve it more than you. Thank you. This is this is Sophie, the artist who did the artwork on the fundraiser shirt that we did. There are so many reasons why you actually are special to me. I couldn't thank whoever is responsible for that, if it's <laughs> Destiny or, or someone else. And that you helped me so much and helped me grow and, and helped me get through stuff that was hard for me. And I think you do this for so many people and, <laughs> and that's why I think that you deserve this. Thank you so much, Sophie. Thank you all so much for being a part of this project and for being a part of this community. I feel like I'm gonna be absorbing your stories and your videos and your faces for a long while to come. Thank you so much for sharing yourselves with me. Thank you for taking the time to make videos, especially for people who aren't usually video people and audio files. I feel like I could just keep repeating thank you for a long time. Thank you for this community. Thanks for being a part of it. Thank you to everybody who wanted to send in a video and couldn't or didn't. Just thanks for being here. Thanks for fighting through. Thanks for holding on. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks. Thanks for being who you are. <laughs> I am so overwhelmed in a very, very good way by watching all of this and so grateful. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I love you guys. I am thinking of you. I will be thinking of you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.